Here's what we're using in our setup. A three meter USB A to B cable. Another USB A to B cable. An SMA cable. A pair of phase matched SMA cables. A USB device test fixture. The complementary USB device test fixture. SMU input adapter, BNC to leads adapter, BNC to SMA adapter, a torque wrench, ESD protection strap, and our device under test. Check the description for more information about this list of materials. An oscilloscope of suitable bandwidth, an AFG of suitable bandwidth, and any 5 volt power supply. Connect the phase-matched SMA cables to channels 1 and 3 of the scope. Connect the other end of the cables to the USB device fixture. Connect the A side of the USB 3 3 meter cable to the USB device fixture. Connect the B side to the other fixture. Connect the individual SMA cable to the D plus side of the test fixture. Using the SMA to BNC adapter, connect the individual SMA cable to the AFG channel 1 output. Prepare your power source for 5 volt output. Connect the B side of the second USB cable to the back of the AFG. Connect the A side to the scope. Insert your DUT and power it on for testing. Now let's get our scope set up. Click on the help menu then click about tech scope. I always like to check the firmware version of the scope before starting any test. Make sure that you have the latest version of the firmware. Now let's go into Tech Express. Click on Analyze. Then click on Tech Express USB 3.1 TX. I also like to check the software version of Tech Express before starting and making sure that it's the latest. Go into the Options menu, then click on About Tech Express. You should see the version of your Tech Express. Make sure you have the latest. Now let's recall default test setup. And let's name our dot .id. I will name this one USB 3 test 1. Now let's save this. We can always recall this save at any time. Now let's get our DUT set up. We want compliance test mode. Our DUT will be device, and the version that we're running for USB is 3.1 Gen 1. We're using the USB IF fixtures, and the connector is going to be a standard USB connector. Now we're set up for the DUT. Let's go into the test selection. 
This menu will show you the different tests that will be done for compliance. You can get the schematics for the setup by clicking on the test, then clicking schematics. There's three ways that you can connect a toggle. You can use an AFG, you can use an AWG, or you can use the aux out of the scope. The PDF will have a schematic for all of them. You can also get more information about the test if you click on it and then click show MOI. That's your technical reference for each of the tests. You can also select whichever tests that you want to run. We will do all of them in this case. These are the tests needed for compliance. Let's jump into acquisition. We want to change our device signal type data minus and data plus to channels one and three. In our configuration, we want to make sure to instrument detect the real-time scope and the toggling device. For our toggling device, we'll be using the AFG. If you can't find the AFG in the menu, you can click on the options menu in the top right corner, then click on instrument control settings. Make sure to select the search criteria, which is USB in our case, and click refresh. You should see the AFG in the toggling using menu. Now we're ready to run the test. Click on the start green button. And Tech Express should take it from here. Throughout the test, it will ask you to power on the DUP in order to get the LFPS signal. In this case, I'm using a dot I know that will fail. So a pop-up will show up asking me if I want to continue or reacquire. I'll go ahead and use the current measurement because I know it's failing. This pop-up is nice because you don't necessarily have to go through the entire test to know that you're failing. If something is wrong in the middle, then you can stop and make sure that you have everything set up correctly. It will ask you to power off the device. Then it will connect to the SIG test server. At the end, a report will be generated for you. This report will have an overall test result, whether it's pass or fail, and then a detailed test result for each of the tests that were performed. 
you can check the measured value and compare it to the lower limit and the higher limit. And you can see which tests you've passed and which you've failed. You will also get the eye diagrams and the mask hits for all the critical tests. You can also save this report. If you go into Reports on Tech Express, you can click on Browse and then choose the folder that you want to save this file in. Click on Generate Report and it will be saved in the folder. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any more questions, please contact our technical support team at the following email address, techsupport at techtronics.com. Thank you. Take care.